Okay, more techniques. Let's just get rid of this. Put this drummer track back to Julian. Now, yes, the drummer editor allows us to make a huge variety of patterns. But with these club style drummers, that's Magnus, Leia and Julian particularly I'm talking about, the ones that do club style beats, right? Yes, we can get a big variety of kick patterns from them. We can get a big variety of high end level pattern, uh, layer patterns for them. And even with the percussion, we can get quite a good variety of patterns. But with these club style drummers, for the claps and snares, you don't get complex patterns from these club drummers. Okay, the club drummers only give you very simple clap and snare patterns. Usually just um, cat, um, cat on the twos and fours. Some of them, some of the patterns may give you an offbeat here or there, things like that. But you don't get complex snare or clap patterns from the club drummers. All right. So, what if you do want that? Well, let's set up a basic beat. Okay. I've got shakes and hats at full complexity, playing pattern one. I've got the kick playing pattern one restricted right down to doing four on the floor. And here's my basic shaker hats and kick. Like that. Now, if I bring in a clap, I just get a two and four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. And it's the same for all the patterns for Julian. All I get from the clap is two and four. Two and four. Two and four. And for pattern six, two and four. Only pattern five gives me something different. It gives me a clap on every beat of the bar. And if I restrict the complexity of the clap down, I get the clap on the two, three, and four. Restrict it down again, and I get twos and fours. Okay, so I've got a basic clap pattern in there doing two and four. And there's my basic beat, but I want a more complex clap pattern. So what I do is this, I've got the clap in just doing simple two and four. I hold down alt, drag a copy of this across, right? This is now a copy of that. I now right click on this drumming region and I can convert it to a MIDI region. Now. If you don't see this at the top of the right click menu, it's down here, convert, convert to MIDI region. So I convert to MIDI. Okay, now MIDI regions can live on the drummer track, the same as drummer regions, and they trigger the kit exactly the same. This is simply a copy of that pattern. These are both the same, but this one's been converted to MIDI. And now in the MIDI converted version, I can build in my custom clap pattern, okay? There's the clap already in there doing the simple twos and fours. Two, four, two and four in each of the two bars, right? And now I'm going to put in a custom clap pattern. Get the brush tool. We've got swing in the pattern, so I'll set the brush to 16 swing C. And I'll start off putting a little 16th swing clap in at the end of each bar. Like that. And then a little thing like that and in the second bar like that hey presto custom clap pattern that's how you do it right um, and now I get the four bars alt copy them over and I have eight bars in total and I have the classic dance music thing of an eight bar block and every two bars, there's a custom clap variation. Yeah, so any time you need to put in a custom pattern for a particular drum, just convert to MIDI, build the pattern quickly with the editor, convert to MIDI, building your custom claps, snare, or whatever pattern. Yeah? And you can use this custom technique for building custom fills as well that you can't get from the fill control. You know, this fill control, yeah, yeah, it gives us loads of different fills, but if you want a specific fill that you can't get from the fill control, okay, I'm gonna put a fill in the last two bars here. Uh, for example, and if this was like a standard eight bar long block of drumming, this type of, of, of drumming region, eight bars long, the normal eight bar length, and you want to put a custom fill at the end, you just chop the last two bars off with the scissors, convert to MIDI, and you can build your fill in there. So I'm going to build a custom fill in the end of here. 
Uh, I'm going to put in the kicks like that, and then we've got swing, remember, so I've got 16 swing C still on the brush tool. There's a little row of swing kicks at the end, doing 16 I'll just up their velocity, all these, like that, and that one as well. There we go. Hey presto, little swinging kick roll at the end there, and I'll put in the classic cheesy bush, bush, bang, 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 like that. Hey presto, custom fill. And I've got this lovely eight bar block with the classic clap variation every two bars, plus a custom fill at the end. Presto, so that's how you do that, yeah? <laughs>